Hi everyone, Stockmo here, Tesla Cats here. It is for entertainment only today, but look, we got a, we'll say happy St. Patty's Day. He doesn't have his green on. Hey, you wanna wave it all here, buddy? No, he doesn't even wanna look. You wanna look at the camera or what's going on? I think he wants a raise. He's a good cat though. Uh, it's that day. You know, we got a big Fed thing coming out today at two o'clock. We'll see what's going on and then we can see how the market's gonna react. I have a lot of things I'm gonna talk about, but today I wanna talk a little bit about the EV stocks and show you where we're going. Some new reports came out, analysts came out, have something from Morgan Stanley. Gonna talk about Tesla stock price prediction, the CCIV stock price prediction, of course, with Lucid. I know Kramer came out yesterday, had some positive remarks for it. I enjoyed that. I love seeing it. I know he's always bullish on it. And of course, NEO. We're going to talk about the NEO stock price prediction I got moving forward. And how are we doing with this? Is the is the route over for EVs? Is the, the full-time, we'll say, bear run over? And now we're on that bull run, moving up to the next 20 to 40% higher than the last highs? Well, Stick around, because I think you're gonna like what I got for you. All I ever ask, hit that subscribe button down below, hit the little bell notifications, hit all. That's what I need you to do, and I'd greatly appreciate it. We got some big things going on. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We got the green on. You see, I got a brand new green shirt for this. We got little diamonds. That's the kind of hands I got when it comes to my NEO and Tesla stock. I do see the EV industry doing very well moving forward. We're going to talk about that. But I do have a link down below in the description. It's the Weeble. Get two free stocks right now. Put 100 bucks in. Take $100 of your stimulus check. Put it in there. You have a shot at $1,850 in free stocks. You get two free shares no matter what. Up to $1,850 altogether. I get one free share because I'm an affiliate. It's a good way to help out the channel and yourself. Now, I do have a link down there in my Patreon as well. That's the ultimate way to help. And you can come on over. You can see all my portfolios. I got some big things in the works over there. We have a private Discord and thousands of members that we just talk stocks day and night. It's a great place. And it's good stuff. Newsletter every day I throw out there during the weekdays to give you updates of what I'm doing and some fantastic stuff. You can even hear Tesla cat meowing over there. He loves it that much. So today we're gonna to talk about the three main EV companies I like to follow. They're my biggest holdings, NEO, Tesla, and CCIV. And we'll say that lucid, and we'll see how it's going and where them stocks have been moving because I heard a lot of people tell me CCIV was gonna hit 15 and that I was crazy for keeping my money in there and Tesla was gonna drop down below into the 400s and 300s and NEO was going back down to the teens. So I just wanted to recapture some of that that positivity everyone was throwing out about those stocks and see where they are since them those red correction days we went through and see is the correction over for EVs is it safe to add on additional or what should we do let's take a look at CCIV I remember bringing this up back in the teens I think it was 17 bucks a share I said, I, I want to get into this. I think there's an opportunity with the rumor that they could merge with Lucid. And we ended up buying a lot of shares back then in the teens. And we watched it and watched it and watched it. And it got all the way up to the, the 60s at one point. And then the news came out of the merger's going to happen. We have a definite agreement. We have everything we need. And the people just didn't like the deal. And the stock dropped down dramatically, like you can see. But over the last month, I was told that it was going to go down to the teens and it was uh, going to hit real low levels and we weren't done, but we were buying. And I was buying throughout this because the entire EV industry was correcting. And when you see that happening, and a lot of the charts look the same. So you, you know you have an opportunity because this was already down too much, I believed, at this point, And then it dropped more. And I thought, boy, it's going to get back up to the 30s very quickly, which it did not take long. If you actually see this as one, two, three, four days, five days, six days, seven, eight, nine, ten trading days later. Ten trading days later, you have recaptured and you're back up there. And now we have some red in the after hours. And we'll see how that plays out today. And we'll see if those, if it ends up green today or not. But from 22 all the way back up to the 30s, that is very nice. It's almost a, well, it's a 40% gain from just a few days ago. One, two, three, four, five, six days of trading. And we're up 40% on this one. So starting to get some of that money back. It's making me feel good. That's what I was looking for. And of course, we had some issues. Uh, just taking a look, we had some issues. Over the last, uh, I'd say yesterday, you can see where we were. We did end up nice, 
but the market kind of just giving it back yesterday and that's something I was watching for. And so we're seeing it where it goes. The big one though, Tesla. Tesla's always gonna be my, Some a lot of people ask me, hey, is Tesla the main play out of all the EVs you have? Or is it the other ones? What do you see? Now, I do have a take on this. Tesla to me is going to be the industry leader in the EV, the whole EV thing. You know, when you put it all out there, which company do you think in the EV industry is going to lead all other companies? I'm talking even VW, I'm talking Ford, I'm talking Neo, I'm talking Lucid. I do believe it's gonna be Tesla. I think Tesla is far and away, way advanced in, in technology. I was reading about their autonomous driving. I am so impressed by what Tesla is doing. It doesn't mean I don't buy other EV stocks, because I do, I'm a big EV guy, and I do study the stock market, and I do think all of them have their own little ways of get, helping my portfolio get to that level of financial freedom I'm shooting for. Tesla is definitely the leader in there. Now, with that being said, at times, I do see more opportunity. Uh, take CCIV, for example. I just told you, we just made 40% in six trading days. I didn't expect to get 40% from Tesla in six trading days, but I did with CCIV. I thought that could run back up to the 30s. Now, I do think by the end of this year, it'll hit 40 to 50. I've been saying that, I've been putting it out there, and we'll see. I was saying that when it was in the 20s because I, according to what I'm seeing, that should be where it should be. And by the end of next year, it should be at in the 60s. Hopefully much above that, we'll see. So am I patient with that? Yes. Am I gonna be patient with Tesla? Yes, I see this one getting up to 950 to 1,000. I'd say 900 to 1,000, let's give a little leeway there. 900 to 1,000 by the end of this year. I thought up to 1250 by the end of next year, hopefully higher. And then after that, continuing higher, I haven't taken, I haven't looked out that far to see where I'll see it. I think just going over the next 21 months is plenty to see where we're gonna see the market going with Tesla. And we could take a look at the pros. We got the pros here. If you haven't checked out Tip Ranks, I have all the analysts here. They give them the updated when they come out. This one has JP or uh, Morgan Stanley coming out today. And we can see that they have the average of 724, but Morgan Stanley had this at 880 by the end of the year. I can agree with that, I can I can see that. I thought it'd go 900 to 1,000, I wouldn't be mad at 880. That's up over $200 or about 30% from the current price. I can see that happening. I can see us getting back up to where we were by the end of this year. I think a lot of good things are gonna happen in the middle of Q2 through Q3, but right now, I've said this, you can go back to my videos, I said through Q1 into the middle of first half of Q2, we're gonna go through some corrections, some volatility. They're gonna shake the tree, get out those, those investors who are day trading, and you're gonna be left with some buying opportunities. Now, are we out of those woods yet? I think maybe for the EVs, we are. I don't think we're gonna go back down and go below our lows. This is my opinion. I don't think we're gonna go below the lows. I don't think the NASDAQ's gonna drop below 12,400 either. I think uh, the correction was done, it hit the bottom, we're working our way up. It doesn't mean we're not gonna have some red days. You know, if Powell comes out today on at two o'clock and says some things that the market doesn't wanna hear, I believe we would have short term, I'm talking a few days, maybe a week or two, of volatility, and then you'd see it moving back up. That's what I think. If he comes out and they're very appeasing to the market, well, that's even better, because then we don't have that volatility as much, and you might even see some big green pops out there. Now, pay attention to the rates. The rates go higher. A lot of the people, obviously, with the 10-year note, you're gonna be seeing, uh, you're gonna be seeing some of the growth stocks out there, the tech plays getting hammered again. All right, but I don't think going back down to where we touched before, just you gotta watch those rates. I think that's gonna slow down with the volatility in the bonds as well. A 40 year bull run for the bonds has ended. 40 years of continuous moving higher, done, and down over 20%. I don't know if anybody's talked about that yet, but that doesn't happen often. But with any bear run, do you get an opportunity to add in some of these bonds that got crushed? Now, I talked about an ETF, BND. That's one you can take a look at. I, I did my rule of 100, 110, and 120 for those who really want to set up a diversified portfolio. And I even did one with crypto. I have two different videos out on that. Take a look at those. They'll help you out if you truly want to be diversified. If you do not and you want to go all stocks, all growth stocks, just be prepared for red days. 
Remember, a lot of money just got to spend 1.9 trillion. Did you sit down, take a look and see what stocks, what industries are gonna benefit from that 1.9 trillion? Where is the money that people are getting mostly gonna be spent? A lot of money's coming out, I believe it, another wave tomorrow from the IRS. And so that money will be hitting bank accounts. Will they be investing? I'm hoping. I'm hoping a lot of that money pushes the market higher, you know, because I'm hearing a lot of people out there are gonna be investing part of their stimulus checks into the stock market. Well, you just can't just throw billions of dollars uh, into, their, into the stock market and not have an effect. And a lot of these are retail investors that are gonna be buying much of the same stocks. So don't be surprised to see some of your favorite plays moving higher just because you just handed everyone thousands of dollars to go spend on the market or whatever else they're gonna spend on. Now, I do like that one. Tesla is one I enjoy, but of course, one of the ones I thought had a bigger upside potential, more than even, I thought even Tesla, I've been calling this. I thought this was Neo right here. And if you look at the five day for Neo, you will see it's almost flat from where it was, had a nice little pop, just kind of trading sideways over the last few days. In the month, you can see, had that low here, down at 35. I do not think we'll get back down to 35 but you never know. That would be almost a 15 to 20% drop in current price. I don't think we'll get back down there. I think I'm just waiting for that next decent pop out of NEO and we'll see where we go. But right now, I'm still a big bull on NEO. I thought we'd get up to 75 to 90 by the end of the year. And yeah, I know where we're at. We're at 43.68. And I'm watching it. I got my stock. I'm not adding more at this point because I have a ton of CCIV. I have a ton of Tesla and a ton of NEO. If anything, I'm actually looking at my portfolios, coming up with a defensive strategy that I'm creating a nice portfolio for dealing with inflation, dealing with all the issues I think are going to pop up over the next year or two. And I'm developing that now as we speak. But that means I got to rotate some of the money out of certain sectors into these new ones because it's getting, the easy money is over for some of these high flying growth stocks and it's gonna become more expensive for them to get, go out and get capital and that is a downward pressure on prices and now is the time to start looking at value plays and what I mean by value plays is look at the, the companies with good earnings. When they report good earnings, money's gonna flow in there and they're gonna do better and you're gonna see some of these companies out there that, that have to keep raising capital, they're losing money. Look at the PE ratios, they're negative. They are, and if their cash flows are negative, they need to raise more money to stay in business. It gets more expensive with higher rates. That's downward pressure. But when the companies are making a ton of money and they're reporting above average earnings, you know, hey, we're supposed to make this, but we made this, you're gonna see that stock pop a lot easier. And so look at the companies that are gonna get a piece of this stimulus pie. Those who are gonna be out there putting products out there. I like uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Apple. I like those ones. I think Google's gonna do well for, with the advertising revenue flying in. There's a lot of them out there. I think Facebook as well. So if you look some of the typical FANG stocks, I think they're gonna do fantastic. So watch those. There's, some, there's a little bit of advice for me on that one. Look at this, you got the, the, the pros here. Uh, in the last week, 70, 60, 57, over the last uh, seven days, you see putting that up here, even in, just put up 70, man, 70, you're looking at a almost, oof, more than 60, 60% 60 gain if we get up to 70. I think we're actually gonna hit 75. I think it's off by five bucks, 75 to 90. Now, uh, we'll see what happens. We wanna make sure that they can sell as many as they wanna sell, they can deliver as many as they wanna deliver, that there are no chip issues moving forward. I know they said by Q3 that would all be solved. I'm hoping that's correct as well. So right now, this is what I'm seeing. I'm loving the EV industry, especially after correction. Of course, we gotta pay attention to what happens with the Fed today, see what they're gonna say about rates. So I'm gonna be watching what the Fed says today, two o'clock, big news. And uh, if the market starts dropping like a rock or going up, we know, well, we'll know that he didn't, they didn't say anything that we wanted to hear if it turns red. And it better not turn red. You know what? We've had enough red over the last five weeks to last a lifetime. I'm ready for some nice upswing uh, uh, bull running, if you will. I thought the next bull run would happen at the, the lows of 12.4. We hit it and I think that's it. Now, not all bull runs are gonna happen. I said a nice V-shaped recovery from that. And I think looking at the charts, I would say we're getting that. Now, it doesn't mean every single day is gonna be green, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. But it doesn't mean I'm not preparing for the future of 20, late 2021, early 2022 short-term inflation pressures, some money moving around, and then of course, higher taxes are on the horizon because this money that we're giving away, 1.9 trillion, 
needs to be paid back and they're not going to get that all back in the economy picking up they're going to have to raise taxes so let's take advantage of some of this by setting up ahead of time much like i did when i was buying airline stocks and bank stocks in october and i had some people saying why are you buying that now everything's going higher because i was setting up for recovery stocks for that big uh, the big stimulus plan that I thought was coming, which did come. And then you see these stocks up 40, 50, 60% now. And so the boring stocks are sometimes the best, best to have. I'm looking at infrastructure. I am still looking at some banking stocks. There's a few companies out there I got my eyes on that in the retail industry as well that I wanna take advantage of. So, so that's what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. Now, look, it's St. Patty's Day. We got the green on. Have a great day. Make sure you take advantage of those two free stocks down there from Weeble. Take five minutes. Maybe the Irish luck is on your side today and you'll walk out with 1,850 in free stocks. And if anything else, hit that Patreon link down there. Come on over and check out what I got going on. I'm over there. We can shoot the breeze. It's a lot of fun, especially uh, when the markets are green. It's the best time. I have a lot of fun over there. So that's what I got for you today. Now, like I always say, let's get out there and make some money.